All right, now let's uh, take a look at what's happening in the market with uh, Anete. Good morning, Anete. Yes, uh, good morning, Ladi. Yeah, I guess you've been talking about the fixed income markets, and yeah. uh, within the last couple of days, we've been focusing our attention on the equities market. So I think it's time I just uh, also take my focus on the fixed income market, if you don't mind. All right. Okay. Go. So now this is how it turned out, uh, the fixed income market trading at the FMDQ exchange. The fixed income market is still wearing a mixed picture uh, at, the, at the bonds market, at the treasury bills market, as well as the open market operations. So in terms of, for the bonds segment, it was uh, mixed, but albeit with a bearish, uh, 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 bearish tilt. And of course, that, that market has not been all that active. This is what it uh, turned out yesterday. Number of deals, seven on the 14th of March, 2024, 18th of March, 2036, Two of them had that seven uh, number of deals there. For the Treasury bills market, we had six deals on the 27th of August 2022, worth about seven billion naira. And then, of course, at the open market operations, uh, average yield there contracted by five basis points to around 5.5 percent. So that's all. That's the picture there. For the central bank special bills, it is also not much of activity there. Number of deals five. And that the, the most of it, the, the attention was focused on the 7th of March 2022, later this year. So we, we, we will be talking to our analyst, Banco Leo Dusonia, who is the head of fixed income trading at UBA, to give us more highlights of what happened, uh, especially for the first trading week of, uh, uh, of 2022. Okay, so uh, we have uh, Banco Leo now. Thank you for joining us, uh, Banco Leo. Good morning, Matthew. Okay, so the fixed income market, uh, I, I'm sure you're not uh, all that impressed, especially because it's taking not much of activity there. So can you bring us a run through into Thursday's um, trading session at the fixed income market? Okay, the sentiments are now on the short end of the curve, especially for February to May special bills instruments where there's been a lot of demand. And that was how we closed the year. So in the first week, We've had only one auction, an OMO auction where um, 50 billion in total was offered for 9182 and one year instruments. 103 billion was um, subscribed for, for the one year, and only 30 billion was sold at 10.1. I believe um, this instrument was correlated to uh, the winners of the auction. But on the secondary market, we have seen very, very, very strong interest on the short term instruments because. Most fund holders right now want to invest on this short instrument with expectation that yields would have spiked in March, April, May, where the government would have kicked in fully into borrowing more to fund the 2022 uh, budget, which is currently at 17.1 uh, trillion. So that's the expectation that is fueling our secondary market demand, which has tilted to the very short end of the curve right now. There are very few uh, trades on the bond end where uh, most surplus units and those who are statutorily required to buy bonds prefer to go to the primary auction. We are with the calendar for the first quarter uh, for bonds um, offered by the DMO. Uh, so currently the secondary market is largely quiet. We're seeing more activities around the special bills, demand for special bills, which are very, very short, like I said earlier. Okay, so now, so talking about expectation, in a couple of weeks from now, we'll be expecting uh, the December inflation report. As at November, Nigeria's inflation stood at 15.4%. So what's the outlook for the uh, fixed income market as far as um, inflation is, is concerned? Okay, we expect the negative real rate of return to continue for a while because we do not expect a dramatic fall in inflation yet. Prices are still on the rise. Just that we just that is seen at a reducing rate compared to the last six months. We've seen a continuous drop in the rate at which prices were moving, but rate pr prices are still moving up. So uh, we expect that the negative rate, uh, rate of return, the gap between inflation and the yield on instruments will continue to be. Uh, another major issue we need to look at is the uh, probability of taxing fixed income securities in Nigeria. There was an exemption that was signed by President Goodluck Jonathan in 2012 that expires this year. If it's not uh, renewed, that exemption, it means that uh, holders of uh, instruments like bonds or treasury bills or promissory notes, fixed income securities, could pay tax 
on the on re, the yield on instruments. That's coupon or capital gain. Uh, this is uh, these are the assumptions that we are looking at. This could shape the market largely going into the year because it produces the effective yield and attraction of this instrument, not only to local investors but um, the foreign participants who are looking to come back either before or after the general elections that will be in 13 months' time. So thank you for bringing us up to speed with uh, activities at the fixed income market, uh, Bank Olive. So that was Bank Olive Dusoya, head of fixed income trading at UBA. So Ladi, but before I come back to you, this is how the equities market turned out. Three trading sessions, we've been positive. Year to date, we're at 2.1%. Um, uh, quite so impressive. Outlook, still positive. Quite, quite impressive. All right, Nathan, thank you so much uh, for that uh, analysis. All right, we'll, we'll take a break now. When we come back, we head to London. Do stay with us.